Hello, what's up? What's happening? Welcome back to another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. We got the Jeffrey Dawkins Road to Glory series popping off today. We're checking out the top 25 polls, and no, Tennessee is nowhere to be found in the top 25. And their opponent that they're facing this week is a rivalry game. It is their rival. They hate these guys, they hate us. Tennessee versus the University of Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky, that basketball school that just happens to have a football team. Now, we're going to be checking out the bowl projections. That's right, the projections. This means where the experts think that we're going to be playing in this year's bowl game. And no, we're not going to be playing in like the Rose Bowl, the Sugar Bowl, or even the BCS Championship game. We're going to be playing the University of Miami in the Music City Bowl. Now, that's only if any everything stays the same. If they win, if we win, if everybody else wins and stuff like that. And if everything stays on on course it looks like we can have a big 10 big 10 showdown in the bcs title game and i don't know how realistic that is but it is going to be nebraska versus ohio state if everything stays the same after this week and of course after the championship week when you got the acc sec big 10 pac 12 championships game so we're going to start off with the ball game. We're playing the University of Kentucky. They have a record of 4-7. and seven. We have a record of 6-5. and five. It has been a down year, but if we can win this ball game, hopefully we can carry this momentum into Jeffrey Dawkins III sophomore campaign. So it's third and eight. Now we're going to find Marcus Heron over the middle. He fumbles the football, but we are able to get on top of it. We're going to check out the replay. You see him wide open there on the slant route. Takes a shot. But luckily, we were there to recover the fumble. So now it's first and 10. JD3 drops back the pass. Going to find Willie Chance. And Willie Chance is running down the sideline. Picks up a huge gain of 42 on the play. Move those chains. So far, Jeffrey Dawkins is 4 for 4 for 58 yards. Nice little pass right there. And an even better run after the catch by Willie Chance. Right here, some read option. We're going to give it to the halfback. He's going to cut to the right side. He's going to get in the end zone. Touchdown. Tennessee Volunteers, Lucas Tucker gets in from 12 yards away on the ground, and we have a lead of 6-0 because our kicker missed the PAT. So first and 10, now Dawkins the third, drops by the pass, we're going to find Tucker in the flat, and he's going to pick up a gain of nine, second and one now, read option, and our read option is hooked on Phonics. We did not read that correctly, and it's going to be a loss of four. Third and five. Now we're going to roll to the right side. Jeffrey Ducks the third. He's not going to throw. He's going to try and run. Breaks the tackle, and then gets stopped three yards short of the first down. But our coach is ballsy. He's going to go for it. So here we go. A little toss play, and Tucker, he's going to pick up a gain of five. Needed three. First down, Tennessee. And now we got the read option. Jeffrey Ducks the third is going to keep it, and he's going to pick up a gain of eight. Second and two now. So we drop back the pass. We're going to find our halfback in the flat on the wheel route. He's going to pick up a gain of seven. That's our backup running back, Blake Harris. So it's first and ten now. Dawkins the third drops back the pass. We're going to find Smith over the middle on the comeback route. Gain of seven. That's going to bring up second and three. Five wide receiver set out of the gun. Jeffrey Dawkins third drops back the pass. Decides to tuck it and run. He's going to get brought down a couple of yards short of the end zone, and he looks to be hurt. Yet again, if you don't know, he has a problem staying healthy throughout the whole game because I like to scramble with him, but that's another story. So it's 13 nothing after the backup quarterback comes in, gets us on the board with another touchdown, and we have a 13 nothing lead. And now Jeffrey Dunster, he doesn't learn anything from his last play. He's going to take it and run it again. He has a heart of a champion, heart of a lion. He never says die. And on third and 11, he's going to tuck it and run again, pick up the first down himself, but then he fumbles the football, and the University of Kentucky is going to jump all over that. First down, Kentucky going the other way. Jeffrey Dawkins couldn't hang on to the football, and now Kentucky is going to march down the field and get on the board. 13-7 to is the score. So we come back first and 10. Jeffrey Dawkins, the third, is going to pick up the first down gain of 10 to Brandon Smith, the big tight end over the middle. Move those chains. So it's first and 10. Jeffrey Dawkins, the third, drops back to pass. Looking for James Howard. He's going to find him on the slant route. First down, Tennessee, gain of 15 on the play, and now Tennessee is marching down the field. Now we're going to hit him with that wide receiver screen, and he's going to pick up a nice gain of 14 
on the play. Nice play call right there by the coach. Got us an easy first down. Second and eight now. Jeffrey Douglas third drops back to pass. We decide to tuck it and run. This time he dips out of bounds. Ain't trying to get hurt no more. But I must say I have not seen Jeffrey Douglas III run the ball this much throughout a game. He's been tucking and running. He's been chucking and jiving. He's been doing his thing all day long, even though he did have a fumble, which is never good. So now on third and five, we're going to set up the screen play. And Lucas Tucker is going to pick up the big first down gain of nine. His third catch for 23 yards. Now we got the option going. And Jeffrey Douglas III again taking himself, getting the end zone. Touchdown Tennessee, and now we are up 19 to 7. If we can hit the extra point this time around, we will be up 20 to 7, and that's always good going into halftime having the lead. But as you can see, Kentucky goes down the field and they get in the end zone. So second and 10 now. Jeffrey Douglas there drops back the pass. Can find Mason over the middle. He's gonna get hit, and he fumbles the football. And now. Kentucky has a chance to get on the board before the half is up. And Kentucky is going to march just straight down the field. 21-20 to 20 is the score. And after they get into the end zone, and we're just going to run out the clock, clock, run out the clock, excuse me, and send this ball game to halftime. So as you can see, we're down 21 to 20. The first downs have pretty much been even. Total offense has pretty much been even. But the one difference is that Tennessee has two turnovers just to Kentucky's one. So that's the difference in the ball game so far. And on first and ten, we start off the game. We start off the second half with the ball. Jeffrey Douglas III going to tuck it and run. Picks up the big first down. First and ten, JD3 drops by the pass. Going to find Marcus Heron on the comeback route. Takes a big time hit. The defender looking at him like, yeah, I smacked you, sucker. And then Marcus Heron is like, well, at least I caught him to the ball, you know, your mama. So first and 10, now up that gut with Lucas Tucker. He's going to pick up a gain of five, second and five on the very next play. Out of the gun, Jeffrey Douglas III drops back the pass, looking for his man over the middle. Going to find James Howard, who fumbles the football. Another fumble. That's what that. That's four fumbles on a day. We lost three of them. We check out the replay. He was wide open. He gets hit over the middle and fumbles the football yet again. So now Kentucky takes over and they get marched down the field again. And now it's 28 to 20. The offense hasn't been able to do anything. And on third and six, Jeffrey Dogs the third drops back the pass. Throws a four-yard out route when we needed six. That was just a dumb play. And you could say it was a dumb play call too, but I can't audible because Jeffrey Dogs III is not on that level yet. So second and 10 now. Almost throw an interception right there, and that would have probably have been a pick six, and we would have been in big time trouble. So on third and 10 now, we got to pick up this first down, and we do just that. Jeffrey Dawkins at third drives back the pass and throws an absolute strike to James Howard on the corner route. Move those change now. It's first and ten. We're looking for somebody. We stop, we pop. We're gonna find Smith, the big tight end, and he's gonna pick up a gain of seven. Second and three now. A little read option. We're gonna hold on to it. We're gonna cut to the outside. We run into our old lineman like we mark Sanchez, but we're gonna pick up a gain of eight and we're gonna pick up the first down. I figured if Jeffrey Dawkins follows his old lineman, it will work out, but instead, the big dude just slows Jeffrey Dawkins the third up. So now it's third and five. We're gonna find Dan Carter, and Dan Carter is acting like the man, and he's gonna pick up the first down. And that's gonna do it for the third quarter of action. We are off to the fourth quarter. We're down eight points, but we are moving the ball down the field, and hopefully, we can get this bad boy in the end zone and hopefully get a two-point conversion and tie this thing up. And on third and eight, we drop back the pass. <sighs> and that pass is going to fall incomplete. And on fourth and eight, the coach decides to go for it. Sends his offense back onto the field. Got to get this thing in the end zone or at least pick up eight yards and move the chains. And Jeffrey Dostert is going to take a shot to the end zone. And that's going to be intercepted. And now Kentucky takes over. And now they have a chance to put this bad boy away. But our defense is able to get a stop. And now they're going to send the offense right back on the field. And hopefully Jeffrey Dawkins won't mess up this time. So on first and 10, he's going to drop back the pass. He's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to pick up the first down using his legs. Tennessee has 136 yards rushing. And Jeffrey Dawkins has 100 of those yards. He's going to run it again. But no, he stops and pops and finds Willie Chance for a gain of 13. He scrambled, brought up the defender, and threw the ball right over the defender's head. And he was like, which way did he go? And over the middle, we're going to find James Howard on first and 10. And he's going to pick up a first and 10. Mudo Shane. So second and nine now. We're going to call the draw play. Get the ball to Tucker. Up that gut. He's going to fight his way for a game of six. Now it's going to be third and three. 
We're going to run the option, the speed option to the left side. We're going to pitch the ball, and we're going to pick up the first down by the hairs of a chinny-chin-chin. Nice decision right there by Jeffrey Dawkins III, and now we're going to do it to the other side. This time he's going to hold on to it and pick up a gain of two. Second and eight now, and we've got some more option as if we are Oregon. Triple option right here. Jeffrey Dawkins, Jeffrey Dawkins excuse me, decides to keep it, picks up a gain of six, and now it's going to be third and one. Jeffrey Dawkins third to the flat, finds Mason, and Mason going to fight his way into inside the five first in goal Tennessee and now we have a chance to get this bad boy in the end zone and Jeffrey Douglas gets hit kind of hard and looks like he's hurt again he wishes he had his mama right now because it looks like he needs a hug so the backup quarterback comes into the ball game he drops back to pass he's gonna find Dickens over the middle for the three yard touchdown and now we are going to go for it. That's the only option we have. With 3.28 to go, we cannot settle to go for the PAT because our defense hasn't had an easy time stopping Kentucky's offense. So we drop back the pass right here, and the backup quarterback could not get it done. And now we are down two points. So hopefully our defense can get a stop, and they do just that. So there's 2.45 to go in the ball game. We need to get at least a field goal. And on second and nine, we drop back the pass, and Jeffrey Douglas is going to take off. He's going to fumble the football unbelievable that's five turnovers on the day five five come on man so now we have to rely on the defense again and again they come up big it was a turnover and we actually get the ball with good field position so we're gonna run the draw play and we're gonna pick up two and it looks like we're just gonna run the ball here and we're just gonna settle for the field goal a little read option right there we're gonna pick up four so now it's gonna be third and five I formation, or excuse me, single back formation, two tight end set, and he's going to pick up only five, will be inches short of the first down, so on fourth and inches, we send the field goal team out there, and the kick is up, and the kick is good, so it's 29 to 28, and now it's on our defense, this is third and nine, Kentucky has the ball, Robinson is that quarterback, out of the pistol formation, going to throw it to Foster on the screen play, and that's not going to get it done, and they're going to have to hurry back to the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be fourth and two, pistol formation again, Robinson drops back the pass, looking for someone, gets pressured up the middle, and that's going to end the ball game, so Tennessee is going to walk away with the victory over their rival, and hopefully they will play in a decent ball game, hopefully versus Miami in the Music City Bowl, have to see what happens there, and hopefully this win over their rival will give them momentum into next season, Jeffrey Dawkins' sophomore year, hope you guys enjoyed the video, as always, I enjoy bringing it to you, and I'll see y'all later, peace!